Hello and welcome to another bike and another restoration. If you are into your vintage retro road bikes and you're not a subscriber, as I generally always say, then please click on subscribe, it's completely free of charge. Other than that, then why not click on some merchandise below because it really does help keep this channel alive. So, onto our bike, it's a Vitus 979 and yes, we have done one of these before. It was a Sean Kelly cast special. I had so much fun doing that video that I just had to get hold of this bike and have another go. I did actually meet Sean Kelly, who's the ambassador of Vitus, um, at a cycling show and shown him that video, so that was a lovely moment to have. Who are Vitus? I'll share it with you very briefly. 1970s, they started building frames, French-based company, and they had huge success with Sean Kelly. Fantastic bikes to ride, very lightweight, uh, aluminium, this one, and they later then went on to do the carbon tubes, which was one of the first carbon frames um, so yes, beautiful bikes indeed. This one is a fantastic colour. I'm not going to be sticking any stickers on this one. I've got polished group sets in mind for this one and I think it's going to look absolutely stunning. Um, it's got a Brooks saddle. We're going to be changing that for a Rolls one I think. It's a very nice saddle but we are going to be changing that. It's got a nice long handlebar stem which is fantastic. Going to be keeping that. However, we need some handlebars uh, to go on there and some brake levers. Um, what we do have though, we've got some brake calipers, a rear derailleur, front derailleur, but there is Shimano RX100, so I don't think they're really current to the actual frame itself, um, and I do have a group set in mind. Um, it's got SPD pedals, and we've got some Mavic rims. However, the Mavic rims are fantastic, but we're going to be changing them for some Campagnolo uh, wheel set that I've got just over there. Um, so I feel as though this bike is going to absolutely be stunning it's going to be gleaming by the time we finish with this so what are we waiting for got a lot of work to do let's crack on Okay, well there's the bike all stripped down. It wasn't any hassle at all, apart from one item, which was the seat post. I do have it here and I want to share it with you. Uh, I was struggling with it. I did manage to get it out uh, after a lot of pulling. However, the seat post itself does have a bolt at the top, a bit like a handlebar stem. And basically this clamps down into the tube further down. Um, so if you do come across one of these, just make sure it doesn't have a bolt on the top. Share it with you guys, hopefully save you some time. Uh, the other one as well, as I generally always say, have a bucket down below or a box. Just put all your parts in there as you take things off, put them back on so you know exactly where everything goes. So all that's left to do now is get on with uh, cleaning some of this up and polishing some metal. So let's get a move on with that. So where are we up to with this restoration? Well, the frame itself looks amazing. We give that a good clean and also polished all the lugs. Now, I did say that we're not going to use any decals. However, I have later found out that this is a Peugeot PX10 DU. How do I know that? Well, Vice has only supplied this tubing for that model of bike. And I have found this online. I found the original image of the bike as well. So I'm going to try and stick to that as much as we can. The decals we've got, they're very minimal indeed. So I'm not going to stick stickers all over it. I did say I wasn't going to put any, but I do like to say these back to how they were originally. So we've got a couple of Peugeot stickers here just for the top. And we've got the famous lion 
uh, which is going to go on the down tube here and one on the head badge. So I've got that to do. Uh, I've also put a bottom bracket in. There's a sealed bottom bracket that's gone in uh, and we've cleaned the whole group set. It's a Shimano 600 group set and this should polish up absolutely amazing. So it's all on the side there. All I've done so far is degrease it and clean the group set up. Um, the wheel set, we've got some Hutchinson uh, gun wall tyres and we've got some Campagnolo uh, rims. These look absolutely amazing and I cannot wait to get this group set as shiny as this and get it back on the bank. So what are we waiting for? Let's get a move on with that. set on the side there I feel as though I need sunglasses with a glare that's coming off the side it's the Shimano 600 range and it's absolutely gleaming if you are interested in learning a little bit more on how to polish metal then we do have a dedicated video available for you to watch very excited about this build indeed we've got all the white bar tape on the handlebars there very retro indeed and with the gun wall tires um, I really did want to keep this looking to how the brochure was, where the image was, um, and I feel as though we're going to do this very well. Um, I've got a roll saddle here as well, very in keeping. Um, it's like a dark brown, and I feel as though this will complement the frame very well indeed. I can't wait to get this bike together. It's more like a piece of art than a bike. But if you watch these videos, you'll know that this is the most exciting part of the project for me, where you see all your hard work come together. So what are we waiting for? Let's crack on and get this bike built back together. Wow, well, what a result. I have seen some shiny bikes in my time, but this beats the lot. I really do feel as though this bike belongs in an art gallery. Very beautiful indeed, full Shimano 600 running gear throughout, and yes, loving the actual look. The saddle itself really does complement the frame with the colour, and the white bar tape sets it off with the white straps. We do finish these builds off with a water bottle. I do have one just here. We are going to keep it very plain indeed, but retro. So we've got a plain retro white water bottle. So let's pop it in. Fantastic. Well, it really does finish the build off and it is very beautiful indeed. It's not my size, it is slightly smaller, but I can't resist. I am going to take this bike out and try it out and take it down to a local park to take some pictures. So let's get a move on with that. This has been the Peugeot PX10 
DU. And what a fabulous road bike restoration it's turned out to be. It first came in the garage just as a Vitus 979. We didn't know too much about it. And thanks to you guys on social media, you've put me in the right direction in regards to the model and we've restored it as much as possible to the original image. It looks absolutely stunning. We have done some upgrades. We've got the Shimano 600 group set and that's polished up absolutely beautiful. The roll saddle really does set it off with the colour of the frame and the white bar tape, it is absolutely stunning. Cannot stop looking at this bike. So I brought it down to local park just to take some pictures. It's not the right size for me so we couldn't do a proper ride on it. But I just wanted to give you a couple of tips on actually taking photographs of the bike. Try and keep it on the drive side and also get it nice and close so they can actually see all the detailing of the bike itself. Get into the calipers and show all the actual bike as much as possible in regards to the details. If you do enjoy watching these videos, as I generally always say, then please subscribe. It's completely free of charge. Other than that, then why not visit the website at bikeituk.club. We've got lots of items on there. We've got vintage retro uh, mitts, gloves now, and uh, yes, just to complete the look. But yeah, it's definitely worth a visit. Other than that, then why not click on the merchandise below. Thanks for watching and bye for now.